Just wanted to share some information with you guys. These uh, spreaders I've been using for years, um, these are Craftsman, nothing special. I think they're technically a lock ring plier. Um, I gave the information out to a few people on HID Planet. A guy over there, um, he really was happy with the, uh, with the recommendation that I gave him and changed his whole uh, opening process on the Permaseal lights. Just in general, we use these on Beuto, Permaseal, whatever. Um, and then out of nowhere, he said he's sending me a package um, with a different type of spreader. I told him it wasn't necessary, but he, uh, he did anyway. And man, I'm really impressed with these spreaders. I've been using them for about two weeks now. Uh, they're made by Sturdy Built, made in the USA, baby. Um, the difference is they have they have these little teeth right at the edge, so that definitely helps with uh, with grip. Not only do they feel a lot stronger, the spring is a lot better in them, but. I think my favorite part is the sheer force that they have. You can see these open up, looks like about an inch. These open up maybe an inch and a half. So you got much you know, stronger spreading capacity. You got better grip. I mean, what's not to love? I just opened up uh, two sets of Tundra lights, the brand new ones. I mean, the, the Perma Seal is not that strong, but um, I mean these make it a breeze. I do it in a single setting now as far as opening the the perma sealed lights up You know as long as I can get these in there. Uh, I spread it out pop the rest of the channel one area gets a little deformed I uh, Can uh, get that better with some heat, but the rest of it the lens pops right out So I don't know what you guys do, but whenever I'm spreading apart perma seal lights always start at the bottom that way if there's any crease marks they're at the bottom. You're not gonna see that um, once I fix that up, but you can tell the top is all untouched. So I think that's pretty standard procedure. I'm not sure what you guys are doing, but my goal is not to see any kind of prime marks when the light is mounted. Um, and this Tundra is gonna get ready for uh, retrofitting, but just a little note for you guys. Uh, I definitely recommend the Sturdy Built spreaders. I'm not sure exactly you know, the name of this tool, but it looks like the part number is right there. I'm not sure how much they are, but I've already thanked this guy and, uh, you know, somebody sending you a free tool. I thought it was unnecessary and it probably was, but you can't go wrong. So we got a few sets of these things, but get the sturdy boats. Those are fun and cheap, but these changed my life. Enjoy.